hello guys welcome to how to fix track in this video guys we are going to show you the error first if I want to open the Bluetooth here my Bluetooth suddenly stopped working and it's not working here even it's not coming here now you can see there is no on off button in my laptop and previously it was working fine but it's not working now so how to troubleshoot this issue step by step let me show you so step one is we need to go to the device manager to check the bluetooth is available here or not so go to the device manager this is the first step to check it now you can see bluetooth is not available here if sometime it is hidden so go to view and click on show hidden devices but uh, bluetooth is still not available here so what you can do is you can go to the here click on the host name and then click on action then click on add legacy hardware we are going to add the bluetooth here click on next and click on this option install the hardware manually next and here choose the network network adapters let me press N you can see next now it is retrieving the list of all devices so go to manufacture one by one and look for Bluetooth here and if you find the Bluetooth here mostly you will get in the Microsoft so look for here and if you got the Bluetooth here just click on next option and the driver will be uh, updated here or the it will be reinstalled automatically here and after that you can update the Bluetooth driver but in my case I am not able to see that so we are going to move on to the second method so in the second method we need to make sure that the services of Bluetooth are running so run it as an administrator and on the windows services we need to press B and look for bluetooth support service and other things you can see bluetooth audio gateway service you can see three are running here you need to consider only three service here first one is bluetooth audio gateway second one is bluetooth support service third one is bluetooth user support service double two whatever the code so you need to modify and you need to check that the status are running here if it is not running make a right click on the service and you can start it here also go to properties and select here startup type as automatic and if it is stop like this oh, I'm stopping just to show you here click on start now click on apply and click on ok and even if uh, three services are running here still you can restart it what this process will do is it will refresh all the settings here so let me try here if it solved the problem or not ok let's restart it now let's restart this also ok three services are restarted successfully now let me check if the issue is gone or not ok bluetooth is still not available here you can see here ok so now move on to the third step open the control panel simply we are going to troubleshoot the issue here with the windows troubleshooter open that up and click on troubleshooting uh, we need to find out the troubleshooting here uh, let me show you this option troubleshooting open that and then click on hardware and sound open that up now click on bluetooth 
and then just run it this will automatically detect your issue and try to resolve it you don't need to do anything now just give the permission to fix the issue here so let's see if it fix the issue or not okay but in my case uh, device does not have Bluetooth it is showing here so this option is not going to work here so we have to close this out okay we have to close this and now move on to the fourth method in the fourth method we are going to manually install the Bluetooth driver here if it is still not available so tap the Bluetooth Intel Bluetooth Intel Bluetooth driver for Windows 10 okay this will work in Windows 10 and 11 both okay it is trying to detect Intel Intel Bluetooth driver for Windows 10 only now you can see this option coming up now it is taking some time here since I have some issue with the internet now it's loaded okay you need to look for this 64 bit Windows 10 and 11 for both just click on download exe accept terms and conditions here okay no cancel this okay it's successfully downloaded now just open it up you can also go to the downloaded folder here is the exe of bluetooth just double click on it to run and click on yes button when the prompt opens just close this now it's going to load here okay you are great yes uh, next click on next and in the most of the cases it will fix your issue click on complete and click on install since most of the manufacturer has a Intel Bluetooth driver if Bluetooth Inter driver is not working you can hard reset your uh, you can power flush your PC like uh, remove all the USB cables from your system or the laptop and then hold the power key for almost 30 seconds and then turn it on and I got many comments from my previous video that fix the issue so you can also try that and if uh, you are using the other manufacturer motherboard so you can go to the motherboard or the specific driver download and go to the here put the serial number here or the model number and let me see it finish click on manual and now you will see here all the options here bluetooth and all the other settings real tech you can also download here as for your manufacturer okay so we have successfully downloaded the driver here so we have to restart our system guys and then let me show you after that so I have restarted the system guys and now my issue has been fixed now let me show you you can see Bluetooth on a button is visible here and also if I go to the device manager the Bluetooth is available here and the, you can see and the Intel wireless driver we have just installed that it is available here with the latest pack you can see here okay so this is how guys you can fix the issue so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is 
not fixed you can use the dongle and you can also format the system this is the last option you can try so please hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching how to fix stack